We kick things off with a repeat of last year's final match for third place in Budapest. Vipers came away 31-30 winners on the day and now Mets are looking for revenge. The French side go into the game still undefeated and in fine form. The Norwegians start the game with a bang and set the bar high right from the get-go. Their high-tempo start sees them take an early three-goal lead. And pulling the strings early on is Heidi Loker, who scores three goals in the opening five minutes. She manages to find the gaps and constantly makes herself available for the pass. Coach Emmanuel Mayonard takes his first time out just eight minutes in and seems less than happy with the performance of his players so far. And his team talk seems to have the desired effect. Mets improve defensively and look more clinical going forward. Saika with the equaliser. Thanks to saves from Kapitanovic, Mets then even manage to take the lead, which then they continue to build on. Both sides are producing extremely fast-paced handball, and the Norwegian fans are being treated to an incredible game. Once again, Grace Zadi is her team's spearhead and attack. She would finish the game with an incredible 12 goals to her name. Into the second half, and Christian Sand looked determined to close the gap. Tomats steps up and cuts the lead down to 24-19. But Mets are quick to pounce on any mistakes made and are deadly on the counter. Ouet snatches the ball away in defense and goes on to finish the move herself to give the French ensemble a seven-goal cushion. In last year's final four match for third place, Vipers secured their first ever win over Mets. But their other two encounters went the way of the French. But Tomats and company are far from finished today and incredibly cut the lead down to just three with almost 44 minutes gone. The final 15 minutes turn into an absolute thriller in Norway. Vade fires the ball home and now just one goal separates the two sides. Nail-biting stuff. Dahl becomes a goal-scoring machine in the final minutes, scoring at will and putting the match on a knife's edge. And then it finally happens. Christian Sand equalized in the last minute thanks to Anton's eighth goal of the game. Mets can't find a way through in the dying seconds and in the end have to share the spoils after an extremely intense encounter. Christian Sands can celebrate a wonderful comeback, which will almost feel like a win for them.